everyone and welcome back to my channel for those of you who do not know me my name is victoria and on this channel i share tips and tricks to help you live your best life today's video is going to be my first series in the god kind of girl series but if you're a guy watching this i assure you this information this series is also going to be beneficial to you in as much as it has a girl title to it it's you know it goes across genders it's a series i've packed with tons and loads of information to help you live your life to the very maximum today's video is all about how you can set and actually achieve your goals in 2021 more than ever with everything that has happened this past year i believe that most of us need to run recover and catch up for all the time that we've lost and all the things that we really needed to do but we're not able to do. If you do like this video or find it helpful at the end, I encourage you to like this video. Please give it a thumbs up as it will help my video. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any part of the upcoming series. Don't forget to leave your comments, share this video and become part of this family without further ado let's get straight into this video so i think it's really relevant and important for us to start talking about setting goals at this time of the year because i don't necessarily think that you need to wait for the new year to actually start before you start setting your goals i know a lot of us do last minute new year resolutions and all of that but i believe it's always good to start the new year with your fresh ideas fully written down and just ready with a bunch of goals and aspirations ambitions to follow through the year first of all I want to say that in as much as we're all about goal setting and trying to catch up and setting dreams and all of that it is super important that we're grateful for where we are right now I know that for some of us 2020 might have been you know a scary year a trying year a turbulent year why for some of us it was just you know a regular year but whatever it is i want you to just be grateful the mere fact that you are alive today is a miracle the the mere fact that you're watching this video right now is amazing and i think that's something to be grateful for so start counting your wins and not just your losses so i really don't want this video to be too long although it might be or maybe not i'm not sure until i start but I encourage you to watch this video to the very end don't skip any part as you will get vital information I can assure you of that you'll get vital information through this process so I'm going to be listing the most important steps in my opinion to setting your goals and actually achieving them I think that's the key there actually achieving them because talking about setting goals we all set goals right we all set a lot of goals but how can we actually achieve them that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video but just before we get into these tips i really feel like i need to lay a soft foundation you know to understanding what this concept of goal setting is all about and its importance just because i believe that the first step to actually realizing any goal or realizing anything in life is to truly understand that concept if you don't understand what a concept is if you don't understand what you're trying to do you probably won't follow through so let me just lay a soft foundation of what goal setting is and what its importance is so one thing that has truly helped me in life is that i have realized that in life you're either in two categories you're either part of somebody else's plan or you're part of your own plan i once read a story of two sailboats that were on the ocean so a sailboat said i'm going to the bahamas you know it was very precise about where it was going to it actually got there the other one never even thought about the fact that direction was important so you know it just went one day at a time you know let's just go with the wind and ended up in afghanistan to me that's the exact meaning of setting goals and not setting goals it's the difference between taking control of your life and allowing life take control of you now don't get it twisted taking charge is not boring taking charge doesn't mean you don't enjoy the journey it simply means you enjoy the journey but you have that focus you know where you're going to and on a daily basis you're making deliberate efforts intentional efforts to go towards that throughout my life personally i've always been a goal setter i'm the type of person that likes to write down things imaginations you know 
you can call it goals you can call it dreams you can call it aspirations whatever you want i always love to write down my goals i have won some i've lost some but one thing i've found consistent is that for actual success with setting up goals it's always usually important for you to set your goals so that they align with your purpose in life when your goals are not aligned to your purpose they become very disconnected unenjoyable boring stressful you can set on a life journey to accomplish so many things to make it look like you're this extraordinary person to the public but within you you know that you're not excited you're not fulfilled about this journey that you're on you probably reach those goals and still feel like there is something missing within you and that's because it's not aligned to your life purpose now that we have a soft foundation on this let's go straight to my seven tips to set and achieve your goals the first tip i'm going to give is align your goals with your purpose now if you find yourself setting amazing beautiful optimistic goals but still feeling unmotivated about them that there is a red flag you have to constantly force yourself or look for external motivations to get you to always accomplish every single goal then your problem is not your goals your problem is not that you don't have enough motivation your problem is lack of alignment your goals are not aligned to your purpose so here's what i recommend go for your deepest dreams desires and call it don't let that voice in your head tell you oh it's impossible you will never do that oh that dream is, is unrealistic and all of that if you actually don't try you will never be able to do what you've been put on earth to do so in summary the first tip i'm giving you right now is set goals that are aligned to your purpose and calling my second tip is to keep your goals visible at all times the eyes are the windows to the soul. We've heard it, you may not have heard it, but that's the truth. You may not actually know where you're going to right now or how you intend to get there, but it's always very important to have written, written, I emphasize the word written, written goals on how you plan to achieve those goals and how you plan to get there. I want you to do something. I want you to look at that plan often because I can guarantee you, yes, I can guarantee you that there are going to be so many obstacles and even shiny opportunities on the way that are going to take you off course and distract you and make you wonder, oh my God, is this really what I want or is this not what I want? But if you have a direct blueprint that you have your eyes on, you will always stay focused. If you set goals and just throw it away in a drawer, it's likely to gather dust and you know, you just end up forgetting about those dreams. If you look at your dreams often, you review it, you're able to see your growth process, you're able to enjoy that journey, see where you failed, see where you've gotten it right, readjust a little bit, and keep going now the third tip i'm going to give you is something that a lot of us struggle with because we don't want everybody in our business <laughs> and that third tip is to get accountability in as much as we we like to be solo flyers like i don't want anybody knowing what i'm about to do and all of that we have and we need accountability whatever form you're trying to get this is why you need accountability you know when you write down your goals goals are actually not dreams let's get that straight goals are not dreams when you've dreamt you have dreamt your dream your dream has been dreamt then you write down your goals now the thing about writing down your goals is that if you actually don't share it like if you do not share your goals with anybody Seriously, let's think about it. It's no big deal if we don't achieve it. After all, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. So if we don't achieve that dream, it's a problem. If we achieve it, it's a problem. But by the time you start setting accountability, once there's a system of accountability there, it's easier to keep track. So an accountability system ties your goal to a person or a system or a community. Now the fourth tip I'm going to give is anticipate roadblocks. Now that we know that the journey to achieving your dreams is not a straight line, we're going to come through obstacles, challenges. It's going to get a bit tough on the way. I'm not assuring you an easy, smooth ride. But the knowledge itself, once you know that there might be roadblocks, it keeps you prepared for when they actually come. If you're not mentally prepared for obstacles, they can either take you off course or just make you stop 
and quit totally. So before you start any goal that you have set, mentally anticipate what obstacles you might have and prepare for them. Of course, there will be blows that will come that we never ever imagined or anticipated, but just the mere fact that we are mentally prepared enough to say whatever comes our way, I'll keep pushing or there's a plan B and plan C that is okay for us to actually overcome any obstacle that we meet on our way. My fifth tip is prioritize your goals. Goals don't have to be huge projects all the time. It doesn't have to be like stuff that takes years and months to achieve. Every goal on its own is demanding. So you really need to understand that each goal, you will break it down into bits and bits. Set very realistic goals. Understand that this is a journey you're going on. This is a process. For a personal recommendation, I would say don't set more than three goals at a time. It's always good to, you know, target goals level by level. For instance, if it's a mountain, you have to break it down into rocks and from rocks, you break it down into stones so that every day you're able to review it and understand that you're making progress. You're doing this and this is going to lead to this and this is going to lead to that. Now, the sixth tip is to actually evaluate your goals. This is always, always very important. Don't shy away of looking at that book where you've written down your goals three months later to see if you're actually going towards where you had initially planned to be. So don't just settle for good or bad. You know, this was a good idea. This was a bad idea. No, look at everything. Look at what you did right. Look at what you did wrong. Look at how far you've gone and what you've learned from that process. Whether you successfully achieved your goal or not, there is always something. There is always something to actually learn from every process. Extracting those lessons will actually help you accomplish more things in the future. Now the seventh tip is to reward yourself for accomplishment. Internal satisfaction is great, but external rewards can be extremely satisfying too. When you accomplish a goal, you understand that you've devoted so much time and energy into that project. So it is actually worth celebrating. Now I'm not telling you to go the negative way. For instance, if your goal was to say, um, lose like 10 kg, don't go ahead to celebrate yourself by eating a whole pile of food. You know, it's just going to take away your results. So have healthy celebrations too. So those are my top seven tips in setting your goals and actually achieving them. If you have any tips of your own, as always, I encourage you to share them in the comments so we can keep this conversation and help each other set amazing goals for the new year. And I absolutely wish each and every one an amazing year. If you have any other suggestions for the God Kind of Girl series, whether it's an idea or you're seeking clarity or a question then leave that in the comments as well and I will be sure to check that out and I really really thank you for watching this video up until this point thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video